boys and girls, we're rocking. Yeah. We're on. No, no. So we got up to talking about the center mirrors and symbols, etc. So let's talk about mirrors. So I mentioned before that mirrors are considered yang and feng shui. So essentially if you get a, a small space, you can really energize it with mirrors. Look at the cl clever things that Chinese restaurants do with just a tiny little space and with the strategic use of mirrors, they've really made it feel much bigger than what it is. And in business you sort of want to make it feel a little bit more bigger and energized. Now, so if you get like a very narrow corridor, you can put some mirrors there to energize it. We don't put mirrors straight next to one another. There's a tendency to, to yep, straight next to one another. You don't, you don't. Well, sometimes in feng shui, you you know, you kind of do that for very esoteric reasons. You know, you know when it goes into infinity. Yeah. And in some circles, they meditate like that. They get two mirrors, and then they meditate with the two mirrors because it reminds them of infinity. You know how your image goes down into infinity? But in terms of design, we're not often doing that. So, uh, you know, a narrow corridor, uh, a congested, dark entranceway. And we also use mirrors to actually bring in the energy from the outside. So if this, you know, like for instance in a living room, if we put a mirror along here and we had a beautiful view from the outside, like a mountain, some trees, the ocean, right? You, you can bring in the Shen Chi. Right? So you want to use mirrors for bringing in the Shen Chi, not the Sha Chi. So if you've got a negative view out there or something very industrial and then you put a mirror here and you're drawing that in, you've now got double Shen Chi. Yeah. 